Ratios and proportions. Question 5. Find the unknown term. A. 12 is to 8 equals to 15 is to x. Now here, there is no scale factor which we could use directly to go from 12 to 15, right? So what should we do? The best solution here is to write 12 is to 8 in lowest terms. So 12 and 8 has 4 as common factor, right? Therefore, we'll divide that both by 4. Divide both by 4. If you do that, you get 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 2 is 8. So you have 3 is to 2. Now you can find a scale factor between left and right side, correct? Now 3 times 5 is 15. Do you see that? 3 times 5 is 15. So now the scale factor is times 5. So if I do 3 times 5, I get 15 here and 2 times 5 is 10. Do you see that? So that is how we can get x and therefore I can write x is equals to 10. So that is how we are going to do such questions. Let's look at it one more example, right? 18 is to 15 equals to x is to 25. Now from 15 to 25, we can't go directly, right? There is no scale factor. If I times it with 1, I get 15. Times with 2, I get 30, but not 25. Right? A number in between 15 and 30, right? So, let's reduce the left side to the lowest terms. So, what is the common factor here? Both can be divided by 3. So, when you divide 18 by 3, you get 6. So, this becomes 6 is to 15 divided by 3 is 5. Do you see that? Now, from 5, we can get 25. You can multiply by 5. And then you get what? 5 times 6 is 30 and 5 times 5 is 25 and therefore x is equals to 30. Do you see that? x is equals to 30 and that is how we can find the unknown term, right? So here the strategy is to reduce to lowest terms. So write in lowest terms, okay? So the strategy is to write in lowest terms and then scale factor. So that is what we should do to get our answer in most of the cases. Do you see that? Which are not very simple, correct? So here are two problems. For you to solve, 8 is to 10 equals to 12 is to x, right? Reduce them to lowest terms. Since you know 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, a number in between, correct? 16 is to 28 equals to 8 is to n. Here you could find a direct scale factor, right? It is half, right? 16 half is 8. So these are your practice problems. Solve them and move forward. Thank you.